Hello and welcome to Lux Report. Today I'm going to take a big dive into the world of crocodiles and very specifically crocodile skin and how it's manufactured, details regarding price and how it relates also of course to the watch industry because a lot of people seem to kind of pass over, glance over the strap that is made out of crocodile skin. A lot of people prefer steel and rubber. Patek Philippe still has a lot of pieces that uh, have crocodile skin. And there's a lot of Patek Philippe lovers out there. And I'd like to give you a very in-depth and a personal tour of the crocodile industry. I went to a factory that produces crocodile skin. So let's dive straight in. Some facts regarding crocodile leather. It's processed hide of one of 23 species in the entire world. And crocodile leather is an exotic leather, which as a group makes up less than 1% of the world's leather production. It is rare and compared to other hides such as sheep or cow and it requires high levels of craftsmanship to prepare it for use in the consumer industry. Crocodile leather is considered a luxury item utilized by high fashion brands of course in the watch industry. As a material Crocodile leather is rare and expensive because of limited number of crocodiles, their relatively small size and the scarcity of dependable farms and tanning facilities to process and prepare the product for market. The skin is the most valuable the most valuable part of a crocodile, followed by the meat and other body parts. So the value is decided in two ways, the size and the grade. The greater the width of the belly increases the value of the skin. And it's measured across the third raised scute. The grade is measured on a scale of damage to the skin and value is deducted by around 25% at each level. Therefore, skin value can drop significantly if you have uh, like marks, scratch marks, you know, from when they were fighting or they had a scuffle uh, when they were growing up on the farm. The value of A grade, the top spec A grade skin, can be around 20 to around $25 US per centimeter. And as I said, that is measured from the belly width. So a 35 centimeter skin, therefore can cost around 700 to around 875 US dollars. So for every imperfection, value decreases, which is why crocodile farmers take a lot of precautionary measures, such as covering corners of enclosures with plastic, and rubber to keep their crocodiles in good condition because they don't want to get scratch marks all over that belly because would you want your watch strap to have marks on it um dings and dents i wouldn't so uh the crocodiles are put into smaller groups to prevent fights and also to stop the spread of infections and they are known to lead to scarring and damage of the skin, which of course will affect the value of the leather. Quality can be improved up to the point of slaughter, and from here only maintained or reduced. So skin must be preserved carefully, as after slaughter there is a loss of immune response, and it becomes susceptible to microbial contamination, such as scale slip, staining and discoloration, and biological biological damage, so like bacterial or fungal infection, in short-term preservation. 
So a 60% brine solution is used for up to five days. In long-term preservation, a commercial biocide is is required, which allows the skin to be kept for up to four months. The skins are kept in sealed and individual bags. They're not vacuum-packed to minimize exposure, prevent creasing, and simplify handling. Farmers and tanners use specific methods of folding or rolling skins to prevent creases forming across the scales. So there's actually two main cuts of a crocodile skin. You've got the back cut, which is uh, the uh, scaly cut, rough texture, and normally is used as uh, for trimmings. The prized possession is actually the second cut, which is the technically the number one cut, the belly cut. And it's highly popular due to its smooth texture and close small scale structure, which makes it pliable and suitable for many items. And of course, it's very suitable for watch straps. So now with more of a understanding and I hope an appreciate, appreciation for crocodile skin, I wanted to show you what it looks like at a crocodile farm. This is not wild. This is, of course, a farm. They are produced for the meat, for the skin, and basically everything, all of the crocodile is used and nothing is wasted. And this is a rare opportunity to see such images and from inside the farm. And this is because I'm an actual customer of theirs and I'm able to get this for you. And I wanted to share it with you because I found it very interesting and I hope you do too. And you can get a look at all of the different colors available. There's a huge spectrum. And actually, I'm very surprised that a lot, I wished more watch manufacturers would use more colors in their range of crocodile straps. You know, you have your normal brown, tan, black, and that's pretty much it. But in reality, you can pretty much have any color you desire. Blues, reds, uh, oranges, yellows, greens. There's huge, even metallic colors or even natural colors. So I wanted to show all of these details to you. And of course, even having a look at the crocodiles themselves, uh, how they live, they've got a huge pond, they can swim, they can relax they have a good life. They are treated and taken care of. And of course, they are treated particularly well because any marks, any scratches, any fighting that these crocodiles have will affect the price of their skin. And as I said, everything is used, even the meat is used and sold for consumption. So I hope you have a more of an understanding regarding crocodile skin, the prices and the range available, how they're produced, etc. And let me know, what are you wearing? What is your preferred? Do you like crocodile skin skin on your wrist? Do you like rubber, uh, steel, even mix of rubber and crocodile? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And of course, subscribe to Lux Report. Click on the bell icon and we'll keep you informed on all the latest happenings in the watch world.